So there's been some controversy, right? About Dark, uh, Dark Souls, about Elden Ring. And apparently Elden Ring is a little too hard. And they want easy mode for it. So, I thought I'd give my own take. No spoilers or anything like that if you're new to Elden Ring. But I will talk about some little things. But not the main story. So does Elden Ring need an easy mode? And I gotta say, no, it doesn't need an easy mode. It's fine the way it is. If anything, I think I speak for most Dark Souls players, or any Souls player born in general. Uh, some may disagree, some may not. But Elden Ring is probably one of the easiest Souls games out there. And the reason why I say it's easy is, well, the combat... The combat is actually, it's a combination of every Souls game. The whole jump hit is the, a perfect addition to the game. It should have been in the game a long time ago. And it just makes fighting a lot easier. The horse, the horse is the, dude, the horse is pretty much God mode. You can kill pretty much anything. Imagine, imagine having the horse when you were fighting Madeir. Ooh, man, that horse would have been helpful if Madeir was in the... You know what I mean? But that's not the point here. But the uh, there's so much bonfires everywhere. Like, so much bonfires. I know they're called Grace. So go fuck yourself if you're going to get all technical with me. But they're bonfires, right? They're everywhere. They're everywhere in the game. You can't even go a couple yards and you wouldn't find one. Like, there's one right there. It, mm -mm. No, it, it doesn't need an easy mode. And the problem is, get good, scrub. Yeah, I'm one of those people. Get good. Because it's the truth. You get good. I played fucking... I couldn't play Pokemon games for the life of me when I was a kid. And what did my uncle always tell me? Read. 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 With Dark Souls, it's the same shit. I mean, obviously, read how what this armor does, look at the percentages, how it could help you. But it's common sense. Kill a couple motherfuckers, save up some runes, and then go heal, get stronger. That's just how it is. And you know what? Even uh, speedrunners and reg regular dudes that just want to uh, make the game harder on themselves, they play the game as the fucking uh, the peasant. No clothes, no nothing. They play it just like that, and they barely even get hit. That's impressive. They don't need an easy mode. It just takes a while to learn the mechanics, so... No, it doesn't need an easy mode. There's even statues next to certain bosses where if you get your ass kicked, it'll send you to that statue, which is really close to that boss because you forgot the grace over there. Like, dude, it doesn't need an easy mode. This game's really easy. Compared to Shakiro. And Bloodborne? Hell no, those two games are way harder than this. Now, me coming from... I first played Kingsfield. I was like fucking nine when I played Kingsfield. That shit was scary. I didn't even know what to do in Kingsfield. You know, you ever get so scared of a game that you just don't want to take another step into the room? Kind of like how Resident Evil... Resident Evil 2 is an example. Well, the game's too hard because it can't tank controls. Nuh-uh. Just learn how it works. Die, trial and error. I don't know. Like, it doesn't need an easy mode. And for those people who do need an easy mode, get off the game. Or watch someone else play it. Like, if you play the game anyways, you're not going to understand the story. None of us really understand the story until we get items. Or go to a YouTube video. Like, um, this one YouTuber named Hollow Something. Something Hollow. He does lure for these games. I haven't looked at it yet because I haven't passed it, but yeah. I haven't even passed it yet. I never passed Shakira. I only beat two bosses. I never passed Bloodborne. I only beat one boss. <sighs> mm -mm. It doesn't need an easy mode. Just get good, scrub. And you know what it is too? Like, and they call it that because of what I just said, that's considered toxic now. Oh, fuck off. It's not toxic. It's basically someone telling you, get good, get strong. I mean, is it toxic if... if it, is it toxic that somebody doesn't want to help you? They don't have... You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
like when you're when you're studying for a class project or something like that, nobody wants to help you. Nobody wants to tutor you. They got their own problems. A game is more simple than a fucking study tutor, obviously, right? But it's just it's the same example. Yeah. And now they're calling, and some people are even calling us gatekeepers. I think even that guy, Quantum TV. Fuck that dude. That dude could go. I wouldn't say anything on here, but I'd tell it to his face. If he even tries to sue me for talking, copywriting his name, I ain't, copy, I ain't showing your fucking footage. Your footage is trash compared to mine. <laughs> nah, man. No. Gatekeeping, in my opinion, is a good thing. Coming up, coming from a guy who used to get bullied a lot and get into fights, you don't know what gatekeeping is. You don't know what bullying is, you know? Somebody... As Souls players who love this game and like the fact that we put finger in butthole on the fucking floor and telling people to jump off cliffs, that shit is funny. That is the most funniest shit you could do in that game. And if people believe you, oh man, they just dislike it. And you know what they bitched about that? They bitched about the fact that, oh, there's too many fucking uh, signs on the floor where people are leaving false information. Okay, motherfucker, play it offline. Why do you need to be online for a single player game like that? Well, it's not single player, but why do you need to play it online? Just play it offline. That's what I do. Well, like, the reason why I say I'll play it offline is because there's days where I just don't want no one to know I'm online. You know, hide from people because I'm antisocial. Just play offline. Like, uh uh, man. Oh, but that's toxic. Nah, it's gatekeeping. Yeah, because we don't want your kind. And when I say we don't want your kind, I mean we don't want you new players. We don't want you new players in our fucking community. Hell, I'm not even really part of that community. Like in Reddit or some shit or Twitter. I'm already banned from, oh, I'm suspended from Twitter. Elon, help me. Nah, dude. We don't want your kind. It's like metal metalheads. You think metalheads want fucking emos in their group? You think they want gothics in their group? You think they want you alternative people? No. You guys are posers. You go from one genre to another to another to another just because it's cool. It's acceptable. Metalheads, we're, we're gatekeeping our fucking kind because we don't want to deal with you people. You're fake. <laughs> you, know, you, you can't be a metalhead and only listen to Nirvana. You can't be a metalhead if you only listen to my chemical romance and shit i mean you could listen to it but that can't be metal you know what i'm saying it's not metal mm -mm. now if you listen to megadeth or you listen to fucking fucking uh what's that band that i used to know in high school i knew the guys from bonded by blood they were big fans of fucking exodus and they named their their band bonded by blood I met the guitarist there. Yeah, but that's just a bullshit history lesson. The point is, though, they didn't like certain people. I wasn't even accepted because I was gothic. But I had a cholo look with a punk rock hairstyle, which was a mohawk, and I still have it. They accepted me because I was metal. I just liked certain bands. No, I mean, you get what I mean? Like, some people just don't accept you, and we don't want your kind. And honestly, I think gatekeeping is a good thing. Remember when anime was not cool? And now everybody does it. All these fucking hoes, they dress up like the girls and they're just ruining their image. Fucking, uh, I'm seeing kids running around with hentai shirts. It's disgusting. Like, you, you new people ruin that culture. But hey, the, the animators are getting paid good money. They're getting their stuff. Same thing with Elden Ring. Elden Ring's got these new players and they're getting their money's worth because there's no give backs anymore. Everything's online. So, I mean, I'm cool with that. It just sucks that you're part of that community. So, whatever. Uh, I don't want to keep this rant going. It does need an easy mode. Get good, scrub. Let's talk about it in the comments. Leave me a dislike. Leave me a like. Help your boy out.